Hi guys, it's Deborah. I'm just going to um, show you how to make some tags today. So what I'm using is I've got the Distressing by Tim Holtz, which is frayed burlap is the colour. These come in lots of different colours, so it just depends what you like. I like this frayed burlap colour. It's I've done a couple of them already here. And um, just start, I've got a piece of copy paper here, just start off the copy onto the copy paper first if you want to have a nice um, sort of edge if you want don't want the mark of the sponge block that I'm using to go too much on you don't want to have a big blob then you start off the edge and just come in and I just want to make this a bit browner the actual ring around the hole there's a name for these but I just can't remember I mean I when I started work, I used to used to have to put these on things to stop them ripping out of the file. But of course now I don't think they must make them differently. Anyway, this is an archival ink Ranger Jet Black. It's acid free, permanent, and waterproof, and uh, I quite like it for stamping images. The stamps I'm using are these ones here by Tim Holtz. Just put that on there so you can see. They're a Stampus Anonymous stamp pack and they're Tim Holtz Visual Artistry. I've got several of these packets. If you watch my other videos, you'll see that I've used them on other occasions for doing this sort of thing. They're quite good because you get a number. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six stamps in a packet. So I think that's pretty good. And I'm not sure how much they are. I can't remember, but I just bought them off eBay. So the one I'm using here is the Eiffel Tower, which is quite good for this particular card um, it'll fit quite well and I've just inked it up and now I'm just pushing that down get a, get a nice image on there but look it's not a nice image frankly it's not the end of the world it's a bit grungy but that's fine I'm happy with that because I'm going to put a, a few other things on top of that and um, then I've got this other piece here which is also from the same kit I'll put that down onto a new stamp block, get that nice and inked up. Sometimes these bigger images are hard to get the full definition, but if it's, you know, if you've got a grungy sort of look, why not go for it and um, see how you go. I'm just going to stamp, I'm not going to stamp this on because I think that'll look a bit odd, so I'm just going to stamp it slightly off, slightly off the tag. You can see that I've got it here, it's slightly off the tag because you just don't want this stuck in the middle of a tag, do you? It's going to look a bit funny. So there's that there. Got a bit of an image happening there. This one here is a little scroll. I'm just going to ink this one up. If you've been watching my videos, you'll see that I'm a bit of a messy crafter, but, you know, frankly, who cares? I'm <laughs> I like... I'm all about the creativity rather than the perfection and uh, oh, that's quite cute isn't it yeah so I quite like that and I might actually use that again to get some continuity on this one put this maybe across here like this I'm just making this up as I go along oh that's nice isn't it Yes, I do like that one. And see what else we're going to put on here. We'll just put our, put our stamps back. And it's important to put your stamps back so you know where um, things are. This one here, which says artist. You can see it coming out there now, the word. up this way so I can get the whole word in hmm, artist oh, I like that too I haven't really used these stamps very much and so I'm, I'm trying to use things that are in my stash I've got this uh, this thing in my head that keeps telling me if you're not using them then you may as well get rid of them because give them to somebody else who'll use them so that seems like a good thing to me. So use it or lose it. This is my new um, 
new motto that I need to be using these things. Um, this is the other pack that I'm going to. It's the same Tim Holtz visual artistry. It's got some nice writing on here and listen to your heart and you know I like the chandelier too and oh let's actually put it up the right way yes so because I you know didn't quite stamp that properly I'm just going to add this onto here get a bit of yeah put it over the top so it's still got some interest in it and I'll put some on here too and just play with your stamps and see, you know, see what's working for you. That's quite cute now, isn't it? And then put this over the top of this. Oh, yeah, that's cute too. Look at that. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that, you know, you don't have to just have one stamp on a page. You can do multiple stamps. If you don't like what you've done, stamp over the top of it. There are no rules. It's um, it's called crafting. You know, it's not the Olympics. There are no rules. You can do whatever you like. And as long as you love it, then who's to say that it's not right? So there's just three tags that I've made. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. And go ahead and make some of your own. Cheers. Thanks.